Okay, thank you. <laughs> right, I'm filming this uh, actually in London College of Fashion in East Bank. Uh, there's excitement. Uh, we're doing the MA shows at the moment and they're making some fantastic garments over there. Uh, you may also hear the sound of a steam iron going off as well. And that'll be sort of the sound there off to my left. Uh, why am I doing this here? Well, I'm doing this here because this is the building in which you will be taught. Uh, we're on the 13th floor at the moment. Fantastic view, which I'm not going to show you because the weather's really bad. Anyway, my name is Tim Williams. I'm the Graduate Diploma Course Leader. I'd like to welcome your application uh, for the Graduate Diploma Course, and I want to tell you a little bit about the course. So it's a level six, which is the last year of a, of a BA. Uh, we regard it as a conversion degree. Uh, we really welcome students who may not have studied fashion before, but want to take a, a different set of skills and knowledge and then apply it to fashion. So we give you this relatively short, very intense course to take you up to that level. It's research-based. Uh, we work in this building. We're a couple of floors down, so we have a more traditional classroom setup. But obviously, there's the opportunity for you to wander around and meet different students, and that's a very important part of your education. We're also low residency, and I need to really emphasise that. You will arrive in London September. You will be here October, November, December. Then after that, you return to your home country. And I'll give you, there's a very good reason for that, is that in some ways, courses uh, need to support you in the beginning of your career. And one of the most important times is when you're actually applying for work, when maybe you're starting internships, when you're just at the start of your career. Now, what we felt was a really good way of doing the low residency model is that you return to your home country, you're doing your final major project, you're doing the research, you have access to the library, you have access to your colleagues, you have access to the members of staff, all of whom who have commercial experience. And that way we feel you may be, you've got the opportunity then to do research into local companies, international companies, and then build up a portfolio that be relevant to what you want to do when you actually start working. Obviously, there may be a different line. You may be looking to do an MA, and this course actually does support uh, the route into MA as well does not give you a guaranteed place, but it does give you a guaranteed interview. And we do offer you as much support as we possibly can in doing that. So in some ways, this course immediately thinks about what you're going to do when you leave the minute you start. So the way it's actually academically structured, you start off with an essay. And the essay is researching into consumer behavior. Uh, we call this context, and consumer behaviour is so important, especially in regard for sustainability, because after all, we're buying things. We're purchasing, how do we make that purchase? Are we making it in a sustainable way, or are we buying just because we want the new? So we set an essay on that. Along with that studying, there's also the teamwork. Now, when we validated this course, we spoke to people in industry and they emphasized all the time it's about being able to work with other people cooperatively, um, taking the lead or whatever you wish to do within your team. But understanding the importance of teamwork is fundamental within this course. We then move on to two more, what I call instructional units. There's organizations and then there is uh, communications. Organizations run by Helen, that's about the supply chain and that's about sourcing your components, getting your clothes made with responsibility. Stephanie then takes you for your communications, which is a marketing unit. Both Helen and Stephanie have commercial experience. I also work with Angela. Angela is a journalist and uh, she will support you as well. And we, we work together very, very closely as staff teams as well as in student teams. We use a lot of technology in teaching and I'll show you examples of that as I'm speaking at the moment. We use Microsoft Teams, uh, so we put you all into small groups, you work together or you work individually. You have access to all of the online materials we give you. We allow you to practice that during the first term so that when you leave, uh, and we're doing teaching at the moment online. Everything is done live, and that way you interact with your, with your fellow students. During the second half, as I mentioned, there's your final major project, which is your calling card to the outside world. And part of that final major project is what we call your personal and professional portfolio. That's you showing the outside world yourself as an individual. 
the way you actually work with other people, what you feel is most important in your specialism. And we're really interested, as I said, in students who may have different backgrounds, say in science or finance or marketing or any other subject, how they can involve that into fashion. Part of the application process is that obviously you put in your application and then there's an opportunity to speak to me. Uh, I organise uh, interviews uh, every week and that will give you a chance to sort of ask me questions about the course, which I do really welcome. So I'd like to thank you very much for your interest in this course uh, and I look forward to meeting you online and I wish you every success with your application. Thank you.